need to play. The commentary homework streak continues. Yeah, we got a uh, Brave and Scythe on commentary here. The Climber's Legend and the Shulk that was saved by Gyro. Can you move one to the right? Yeah. And then this one. That makes sense. Yeah, that Gyro save was kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. And then we clutched that game. It really set the entire tone for the next two sets. So now we got Spark, my teammate, and Kirby, K-Dog of Upbe Out of Shield. Going at it in winners, I believe this is quarterfinals. This is winners quarters? Yeah, it is winners quarters. It is winners quarters. This is a really, really volatile matchup because Roy definitely has hella combos on these heavyweights, but at the same time, he can die so early to edge guarding because Bowser's fair is massive. Yeah. And it's Roy, rather large. Yeah, and Roy definitely loses to edge guarding in general. You just have to be good at edge guarding him. But I think we're going to see a few uh, carried stuff, jab, side B, like maybe right here if he reads a roll with jab and then like side Bs or something. Oh, he is fishing for it. He does like he does like the jab side B. It's the ha ha funny. He died at like 80. It's it's the C stack classic. I'm not even surprised anymore. I'm not even calling it carried anymore because it's like you know whatever. You got your jab at 80, bro. Go ahead and take my stock. Good good work. I knew that you were going for jab and I still couldn't like not get hit by it. Yeah. So good on you. You conditioned me to get jabs. I'm kind of crazy. Like even that one, just looking at it, you'd think it'd be kind of tipperish, not so, uh, sweet no. spot. But no, the side B sweet spot hitbox is absolutely massive. It's actually like 90% of the move, which is, is very the sad. sweet spot. Shout out to anyone who likes to play Marth. I feel for you. I also like Marth. However, it is not 90% of it. Dancing Blade Tipper on Marth is uh, like I think it's 5% of the hitbox. Yeah, that's really sad. Ooh, You're gonna see some strings. nair strings, uh huh. Yep. Call Roy. The jump. Ooh. I am not surprised. Oh, the spot dodge. It's if he had more stage, he could have side beat and he would have died, but didn't have the stage to do it. Wow, getting punished for trying to spam probably down tilt after that fair Ooh, or something. Combo. Read the roll, but did not quite get the punish. He was sitting at roll distance, probably waiting for it, but just didn't have the reaction time to get it. Ooh, the punish turn. That's not gonna kill. It m might have put him in a more dangerous situation. Oh, the reverse edge guard. It is the Spark Classic. He reverse edge guards everyone in this scene. And if you try to edge guard him, he may footstool you at zero, and you may die. But I have seen a clip or two of that myself. Yeah, he was doing it just earlier today when we were playing at right before timeout at Sweaty Gamer House. Thankfully, as a climbers player, I do not edge guard, so I do not have to worry about reverse edge guards. Oh, <laughs> what do you do? Down tilt, two frame. Do down tilt, two frame, funny up smash, but also not up smash. Good pummel. Spark not still quiet. not getting skill thrown, but does miss the upbeat recovery. Are we still in this? Forty damage for Bowser. That's not damage. That's just rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, damage doesn't really matter if you're Bowser unless you're past 150, and then it like maybe matters, you know, just maybe a little bit. You might die at 150, you know. Perhaps. Ooh, good grab. Up throw. It's actually really, really so close. K Dog is making this amazing like comeback. Every, he has lost the first stock every single time, but he's Whoa, the edge takes guard. the first game with the edge guard, just like I was talking about earlier. That was amazing. That was a great edge guard. He, did not edge guard the entire game basically successfully just for that one successful edge guard. Yeah, you'd think and after getting reverse edge guard he'd be kind of scared, but nah, he went out there, big claw. That's big a stop. Claw. <laughs> now we're gonna see them counterpick to probably Smashville if Kirby did not ban that as Roy. Oh, just kidding. Oh. So what kind of homework are you doing there, uh, Scythe? Uh, I am currently working on Excel homework for Engineering 216. I see. It was very uh, sad because there is there's ten spreadsheets I have to make per tab. Oh, nice. That's uh, that's wow. That's sixty. That's forty. That's forty spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have six tabs, but only four of them are Windows. So I assumed it was just the Windows one. You are correct. Five of them are Windows. Oh, sadly. just kidding. Ooh, taking him to Smashville. Yeah. All right. So Bowser actually likes Smashville, but I think Roy does pretty well on Smashville as well. It's one of usually my normal bans against him. Gets the Trump, but not anything off of it. So I didn't go for Trump back here. I don't know if he reacted to the Trumps being successful or not, or, yeah, I'm not sure. Get up there? Ooh, he doesn't get up for a 40 at this time. 
Spark is definitely going to need to get back into the right mindset to take this game and to be able to take the set so that he doesn't have to make a long loser's run. Since this is still quarters, it's only guaranteed ninth, then you still have to play a ton of loser's matches before you get back to where he would be if he just won this match. Yeah, not, guaranteed ninth at a tournament of 22, kind of hard. Yeah. Kirby's doing a great job seeing that Tim's going for reactive ledge traps and uh, going for jump. Yeah, because you can't react to jump, so you have to, you know, preemptively pre cover. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's looking for the jab back air. Gets a fair, and it still kills. Respectable. And Kirby gonna lose the first stock yet again. However, Ooh, almost had that down me bunch. We saw this last game, and if Kirby can just get that like edge guard or the side B on the Smashville platform, maybe a little later percent so that he can't he gets like sent to a DI trap. Ooh, baited the reverse edge guard, maybe get an easier Ooh. two frame. Kirby was definitely, K Dog was definitely looking for the side B out of shield. Oh, yeah. Spark with Poor the Bowser. amazing edge guarding. Is it actually yeah. Are you joking? That's so sad. That was now Tim doesn't really have to approach, so Spark's just gonna be chilling. Just, like I can just dash dance. Like you're, you're in the corner. Come to me, bro. Chad. And does go for the downer. A little bit risky, but would have been hyped. Three stock, you know. And Spark gotta go, go for it. suicide kills here too. Twice. He's got plenty of yeah. to play with. And that's not even gonna kill. Not quite. Not even on Smashville. Ooh, Drop off there. It looks like. Spark has really gotten back in the zone. He's back air. Ooh, sour sour spot, back. But it'll be very hard for Ooh, Kirby to be jump. able to come back from this. He went back on the stage to punish the uh, like continued edge guard attempt. Yeah. You cannot punish Roy Neutral B. Don't try. I mean, he kind oh, of just did. It was more of like what he did afterwards. True. Because after neutral B, he Ooh, immediately shielded good. and then immediately did an error. Great recovery from Kirby. From the up throw? Tim still has that entire stock and a half to find this kill though, and there it That's is. That's gonna be that kill. Down tilt is like minus three on shield. You cannot do anything after that hits your shield. Game and watch cannot be too far. Kind yeah. of sad. Yeah. Pulling That's up crazy. Game, on, game and watch mates. But then don't because it's game and watch. But then don't because it's game and watch. But at the same time, nerf Roy down tilt. Nerf Rob down tilt. Rob, very annoying character. Even though there's no Rob on screen, I will still say it. I hate Rob so very much. So now we got both these players just staring into the screen, thinking, what, what do I need to do next? Or maybe they're not thinking at all, because that's optimal. Okay. <laughs> maybe that is perhaps optimal. Repost if you don't think. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Sometimes Roy just needs to go unga, you know? Just get those nares. This is true. You get a single nair, and then you get a huge conversion. It's not like I'm a game on I actually Yeah, I know. I know you actually play. All right, let's get into this game three. Maybe it'll be a bit closer than next time. Maybe Kirby had time to think. Or maybe Sparks is going to get four nares and a few fares, you know, 62%. And now if Kirby rolls, he's in danger of being jab side bead. I think Tim was definitely looking for it, but he, he there it is. He might be dead. Uh, oh, Not quite. Bowser is heavy. He didn't get all the way. Ooh. The back air sour spotted after the trump. Still living. Ooh, He's gonna, good. yeah, that is a bad high recovery. In that situation, Tim can easily react and punish. I think now he's gonna get some more nair trains, some, you know, double fair. The Roy Classic. Actually messed up mechanically against those fares. He's trying to bait out a lot from Kirby while he's dashing in, dashing back. For shield pressure? Oh, oh, he yeah. really wanted that shield break. He, he needs the momentum now. I think he's feeling a bit defeated just in the way he's playing. Oh, jab forward air. Oh, he does kind of like not it. punish that. Flame Breath gonna do like 20%, you know. Can you play David? Flame Breath. But now Tim really all he needs is a jab side B. Uh, I mean jab bear. But yeah, I was thinking side because it was just so, so strong. But Probably not gonna take it. Ooh, wow, that was no rage that was almost sense. bad DI, but great neutral air dodge Spark coming out from Spore. Kirby just can't really seem to know what to do, but he does You're get the skill here. throw, calling out Tim's shield after that aerial that was actually safe, but 
Looking good. Looking good. No punish on the parry. Maybe, maybe, mm, Bowser probably could have with that beat. Yeah, perhaps. Frame six, plus two frame parry. All right, we got Kirby. You know, he's making a comeback. That Nair to Bear is putting him in an edge guard situation. Ooh, but the Flare Blade actually does catch him. So now, it was looking very good for Kirby just a little bit ago, but now Tim Sparks is kind of controlling it again. Oh, mm, punish? That that's a punish. He, basically an even game. It's just rage on Bala. Ooh, but that's not just rage. That's an edge guard. I think if he jumps or rolls, he's in danger of getting jab side feed. I don't know at this percent anymore. He'd probably just go for bear. If he can get out of this corner, he could probably find a way to the stock. He still went for jab side B. I guess it's really good on Bowser. It probably yeah, there's a lot of combos yeah. that are just Heavy Bowser. Night. It's true at I mean whatever percent you really feel like that day. All right, so now I gotta go on stream versus you. We gotta get some new commentators in here. Tragic, tragic, tragic. 